what is going on today guys welcome back to another video if you are new to the channel please like comment and subscribe and i got a question um from one of my subscribers that i'm going to be answering today about you know agency owners automations zapier because a lot of agency owners can be automating a lot more stuff through zapier um and kenneth corbin said could you show us you know how to set up our zapier automations no one covers that and zapier is so robust it would be so highly appreciated so i'm going to go over exactly like the exact automations i use um how i kind of set it up the order from you know when the client is paying to onboarding essentially like literally all the steps okay so I'm going to go to our main DFI program, which is this one. Um, this is where everything happens. Okay. So I have two automations that I set up. Okay. And these are the two. Now these are obviously zaps and you know, within those zaps, there's obviously tons of zaps within them, but these are like the main categories. So the first one I always do is the climate, the, the, the client payment to Slack. Okay. So this is, you know, Wojo media client payment to Slack creation plus add team members. So if someone successfully pays in pay funnels, it will then create a channel automatically in Slack. And then after that, I then pick the users that I want to add. So your team members, you can select each team member that you want to add, and then you can send a channel message. And that channel message can be, Hey, welcome to, you know, I'll, I'll show you my channel message. And that's all in the setup action. You know, welcome to Wojo Media. It's an honor for all of us. Like this is where the, you know, we have the client payment and then automatically a chat is created. My team members are all added to it. It says like client dash, whatever. Um, and then we all like, and then we have this automated message that gets sent in the chat. This message gets sent because of two reasons. Number one, it frames everybody, the team and the client. Number two is it gives the client the deliverables for onboarding. First off required, fill out, you know, this onboarding. Second, Fill out this Google form. Third, click the link below to schedule your welcome meeting. You know, with either of these two people. Okay, which obviously I have to take one off now. Um, and then I'm gonna call it. This allows us to obviously get them on board and get them all the assets possible. And then this right here is where they can watch a video of me talking about you know setting clear expectations. Okay, so that's the power of that message. It's it's very very important that you have that because it sets the stage. It sets the expectations. Okay. It's a lot easier to do that. So that's the first automation that basically t gives us that client payment. And then, you know, since we have the client payment, now we can then send them onboarding details. We have their Slack chat created, you know, they already got their forms in the Slack chat. So on that onboarding call, cause obviously on the sales call, you know, once that payment's made, the sales rep is giving them the links to their Calendly so they can book their onboarding. Cause in the onboarding call, they should have that type form filled out, that Google form filled out and be inside their slack channel okay um so that's that one and then the second one is where things basically get streamlined because once that type form is filled out which it said like first off required you know in that channel message like hey make sure you fill this out well as soon as this entry is found in type form then this is the task management part of the business is the fulfillment so once the trigger is, you know, notified that, Hey, like this person filled out a type form, all of these things then happen. Okay. So the first task that gets made, and these are all done like at the same time, instantaneously, like there's no delays. There's none of that. So, you know, this person comes new entry and then Chris's onboarding task. Okay. So Chris's onboarding task. This is where I'll then say, you know, this is the folder, Chris Duffy onboarding this person's name. And then it gives them in the task description, all of their, like, you know, answers to the type form and those questions inside of the ClickUp so that, you know, Chris knows the name, knows the business name, has the URL, has the phone number for onboarding in case they get disconnected on zoom, their Google drive link that we asked them for and their logins to their software that we asked them for. Okay. And then, you know, we add the designated people to that. And that's the first one. Now within the onboarding task, we can now make subtasks and those subtasks are derived. And I'll show you inside of our ClickUp how this actually looks, um, because I'm pretty sure we just, we just had two more clients recently who just signed on. So I just want to give you all like some perspective and how this looks. So if I go to Chris, so this is the onboarding, see how the information populates in ClickUp and then we have subtasks. So Chris now knows, okay, get their website logins, ClickFunnels, go high level or Shopify, get their website logins. Make sure we get their Facebook assets shared. Google, if necessary, for running Google ads. Google Drive folder made and client added creatives. So did the client add their creatives? Did the client send us their Google Drive link? 
send website funnel logins to funnel task and pin in client chat. So when the client sends their website logins in the Slack chat, we pin it to the channel so it's easy to find it. And then also, um, we make sure that we send those funnel logins to our funnel team so that funnel team now has access to those assets. Solidify who's writing the new landing page. So now that we have this client getting on board, like who's going to write their landing page? Because that person has to write the landing page, get the copy approved by the business owner, and then the business owner, after that approval is done, then it gets sent to the funnel team. Now we have to add the Google Drive link to the client's launch ads task for Josh and Up. Those are our media buyers. So I'm going to go more into detail what that looks like. And then once these things are completed, make the due date task three days from today for their ads to launch. We have every single thing in the business basically automated from, you know, because we want to launch them within seven, 14 days. And that's kind of like where this time frame is held. Now, what I meant by this right here is the launch ads. Well, inside these automations, you know, we had the subtasks one, two, three, four, and five, and six and seven. Now we have the media buying task. And this is where it says like, hey, launch ads for this person. So if we go to Josh, this task, you're going to see it in here. Here we go. Here's a perfect one. This is Delta. All right, here, launch ads for. Now, what would, yo, Chris, he just onboarded. What would he do? Well, it said in that prior task to put the Google Drive link in here. So now we're going to go to description and we're going to paste that Google Drive link here. So now that, now the creative team, you know, the, the MIDI buying team has these creatives so that we can launch the ads. Okay. So that's important as well. And then also Javon has his own media buying tasks. And now we have the copywriter tasks. So Maria, Andrew. Okay. So if we go to Maria and Andrew, so Andrew will not have a task in here and you'll see it. Um, look at this. It has his name in here. Okay. What's your full name? It drops all of the answers here. It gives Andrew all the assets to write that copy because ad library i showed them an example of another client who does very well in the space that we could kind of use like a funnel just like it so that's where like all that information can now be held now andrew knows he has to do this copy and then andrew since he's the lead of our copy team he can then delegate stuff to maria because look as you can see here this is ready for funnel building in progress maria finished this but it's got to get approved by the client so this was dropped in here See, look, it's got all the client's information. Again, what's the business name? What's all that? So we're able to delegate those tasks. And also we can, you know, move those tasks to other assignees so that it shows up on their board. So it's a lot more automated. And then Davina, that is, um, Davina is the one who does like our legal VA. So like, so she now knows like, these are obviously client ones, but like, these are ones where, you know, um, the client has to sign this contract. You know, these are people who are pending to sign their contracts. Check in with client, check in with client. These are just other ones who's doing the copy. These are like the subtasks. Now here are the client success manager tasks. That's where it's like, hey, make sure client gets this done by this date. And then it has the subtasks of that. Creatives, copy, landing page design, okay? And then contract to be signed task. That's a reminder to Davina to get that contract signed, okay? Um, let me see. See client contracts to complete. That's this chat. So you get contract signed and that's here. Get contract signed from this, you know, this one, this one, and this one, these people still have to sign their contracts. These are people who have not completed their contracts yet. Okay. And then, um, that's basically it. So that's kind of how my automations work from there. It's strictly fulfillment on you because you have all the deliverables for your onboarding, you have all the deliverables for your fulfillment process. Now it's a matter of having good client communication, setting the right expectations, you know, and obviously having all the softwares in place for you to keep this glue together. Okay. And that's kind of how we do our zaps. I hope this benefited you a lot, but like we will use, you know, we use Zapier, Calendly, ClickUp, and Slack. And that's how we do this whole entire system together. So I hope this brought a lot of perspective to all of you. I appreciate you guys, you know, watching today's video. If you are an agency owner who has any questions about these automations, just like and comment below and also subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.